WVTM 13's Brittany Decker investigates. A father of two murdered while walking his dog. Walking his dog. Walking a dog. Neighbors witness the killer's car drive away. We know that someone knows what happened here. Many questions, few answers. A family pleading justice for Jack Bolden. Just awesome guy. Didn't bother anybody. Always loved to help. Jack Bolden was a hardworking man, a nine-year employee for Birmingham City Works, and a devoted family guy. He and his wife basically grew up together. He was with his wife since he was like 15 years old. A long time. And they had two beautiful daughters. He loved those girls. Oh, man. He was a great father. Take them to the park, the first day of school, PTA meetings. As for Patrice May, she's the older sister of Jack and his twin brother. I can't even look at the other twin without just thinking about them. They look just alike. Nothing I wouldn't do for them. They can call me. I'll be right there. But that day, he couldn't. That day, October 11th, 2018, around 5 p.m., still in the light of day in the Forestdale neighborhood. The victim had just left his residence and he was walking his dog. And when he uh, reached this driveway uh, here, uh, a white car pulled up, four-door sedan with dark tinted windows pulled up and rolled down the window and someone in that vehicle uh, shot at Mr. Uh, Bolden and he fell dead. Do you know if they spoke beforehand before they fired the shots? Don't know if they spoke beforehand. I just know that the witnesses say that the car pulled up and that's when they heard the shot. And then he went down that way and he pulled in that second driveway? Correct. And turned left? Turned left. Street headed towards uh, Daniel Payne Drive. We'll start a conversation talking about him and end up in tears. Just miss him. Without justice, the family struggles to move forward. Jack's oldest daughter starting high school this year without her dad. Look at that. Hey, look how the girls are looking at their dad. That's just priceless. But Patrice says she forgives the person or people responsible. Whoever did that, God loves him just like he loves me, like he loved Jack. We just want them to come forward. Well, if anybody know anything, just say, because it's a family member, and it could be theirs. Like I said, I forgive him. Now we're looking for answers in the case to find justice for Jack, a 34-year-old man so loved by his family and community. Detectives say they don't think the shooting was random, possibly someone associated with him. If you do have any information on this case, please call the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office.